Okay, welcome to today's vlog or this vlog on slope. Previous vlogs, we discussed a graphical representation of slope. Using two points on a graph, we counted how many go up, how many right. Now, we're going to use the formula provided to find the same answer or slopes in general. I have to confess that formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 not my favorite. Slope is fine. The concept is fine. That specific how it's written down I don't like it. The two and the one make me feel like there's a first point and a second point. Not really. You pick one to start with and move the other one. It doesn't matter which way. So I change them to A and A, B and B for me. Or visually, I show my first pair here go over subtract from the second pair. So wait a minute. As you can see here, it's just the blue coordinates, x and y, or y and x, track the green ones. It's just to keep it the same direction. I can go reverse too, it doesn't make a difference. I could do Either formula will have the same final answer. If you're looking at it visually, how it looks is here. That's all. Go over subtracting these two. I could use another arrow to go back. It doesn't make a difference. Just keep it uniform. You can't do this way than this way. That won't work. Okay? Hope you feel more flexibility now. But understand what it really means. Now, go to the first example. Now, first we're going to use our formula we just learned and figure out the slope. Then we'll go to the graph and do what we've done before and counting how many up or down, how many right. They should match if my work is right in both ways.
Okay, so here we have positive 2 divided by positive 2 equals 1. Now we'll use our green and blue blue points on the line to see what happens here. So they match. So my work is correct. Nice example example now. Okay, now we have a graph of a line that's horizontal that way. Now we're going to figure out that by using the graph method of counting slope. Still, rise over run. I can see here from the purple point, uh, from here, none down none so now run Now we see the rise is 0, run is 7. 0 divided by 7, 0. Any number divide, wait, any number, say we divide anything, let me say it again. 0 divided by anything, that's 0. Now we we'll use a formula and show how it looks using a formula, not using the graph. Okay. So now we can see that it's still 0, because 0 divided by a negative 7 is still 0. Now that line has an equation to that line. All lines have that. So here we see 0 divided by negative 7. We see the, the y values are both 4. Really, any point, the y value would be 4. That means our equation is y equals 4. Okay, next we're going to look at perpendicular lines, see how that works out. No, I'm sorry, not perpendicular. We're looking at other vertical lines. I'm ahead of myself. Now we have 
vertical vertical line. You can see we have two points, the green and the purple. And to try to use my graphical method for finding the slope, I can see I have rise from purple to green. But I have no run, no this way or this way. So that's going to mean zero. So but any number divided by zero all undefined. So therefore that's the slope. Call that undefined and had a numerical value. So using a formula, we get the same results. Negative 6, not positive 6, divided by 0. That's still undefined. Now that equation, that line has an equation. If I look at it, x, well, y values are different. But the x value is the same, always before. So x equals 4, that's the equation. And that's it for this vlog. Thank you.